Hello everybody, welcome back to Red Dead Redemption. We're at Beecher's Hope, and we're about to maybe start the final mission? I'm not sure, because I never got this far, as I've been saying. The Outlaws Return. Abigail! Jack! Anyone here? Anyone home? Well, this is a bad sign. Oh, she's oh, here. Darling. I never thought I'd see this day. She looks again. pissed. You no good hillbilly piece of shit! I thought you was dead! I thought you was dead, John, huh? Where you been? Where you been? You know where I've been, darling. You know. You saw Dutch, didn't you? Yeah, I saw him. And Bill? Yeah, yeah I saw him Happy too. Air. And you didn't go back to him? No. I left that life. Just as you left yours. Hmm. Yeah, you're part of that group, too. How'd they treat you? Oh, I can take care of myself, John. One guard got funny on me one time, but I wasn't so ladylike, and he didn't try it again. Nor no one else. How's the boy? Oh, like you. And like me. Well, he's like a kid growing up without a father. That ain't fair. What is fair? Well... Some trees flourish, others die. Some cattle grow strong, others are taken by wolves. Some men are born rich enough and dumb enough to enjoy their lives. Ain't nothing fair, you know that. We tried to change, I mean, ain't that what you're supposed to do? We did change. And it's over now. Oh, this is so sad, knowing what's gonna happen to him. Also, knowing his... Jack, come here, boy. Hello, sir. You got bigger. How you been? Coyotes ate all the chickens and poachers took the cattle. I tried, father. I tried. I know you did. <laughs> I know. And don't you go blaming me, boy. Oh, it's uncle. Don't you go blaming me. Uncle? I'm blaming no one, old man, but since you're still alive, there's four mouths to feed. And no cattle. That's a nice way to greet somebody. Why don't I get to warm and tender embrace? Consider the fact I ain't put a bullet in you, your embrace, old man. You were supposed to look after the place. I did. Well, I did my best. Thing is, there was too many of them. Uh, well, I thought you was dead. I wasn't drinking. Hold your excuses until you figured out which one to use. Mm. Jack, go get your bags packed, boy. We got work to do. We're leaving in the morning. Go on. We're leaving? Yes, sir. Where are you going? Well, it's getting kind of dark now, but in the morning we've got to go get ourselves some more cattle. Oh, okay. It was... We've got friends at McFarland's ranch. It's over in Hennigan's stead who can sell us some. Now, Abigail, I hope you learned to cook. Yes, didn't I say? Rather than some prison, they actually kept me incarcerated in a cooking school for young ladies. They were in jail? That's so foobar. So Uncle is still here. I wonder what happened to Charles and Sadie. Maybe they just weren't written for this game? Could have moved on, like they said they would in RDR2. I know Charles said he wanted to find the woman, and then Sadie said she wanted to move down south, so... Yeah. That's the problem when you do prequels. How do you deal with all the new characters you introduce while staying true with the source material? Not easy. Now, we're going to get ambushed now or later? That's my big question. Long-ass loading screen, that's for sure. Company Jack. I was about to say, it's been forever since we had to ride through a Bonnie. Maybe we are going to go see her again or something. Or is this going to be more like we try to leave and they come... Let's haul out. 
Yeah, this one mine, I'm assuming? Okay. Let's go! In the last video, I didn't really think that I counted with Dutch would go that way. He had nothing to live for at that point, but to see him, like, fall... ...to such a low standard is just upsetting after you get to know him in the in RDR2. Jack? I'm feeling fine, sir! We got a decent ride ahead of us! I've never been to Hennigan's stead. How do you know these ranchers? I met him while I was away! The McFarlane's are good people! Mm -hmm. We need folks we can trust right now! Met them how? I was sick and they looked after me! Shot. You sure got a lot of questions! I don't often get a chance to ask them. Was it a gentleman's complaint? What do they call it? The morning drip? Good God, boy, no! Where do you learn these things? Uncle told me about it. Well, he'd know, the dirty old fool. No, I just got weak for a while. Acted foolishly, got in trouble. Guess I was a little out of practice. I have no idea what the morning drip is. Is that like a metaphor for something? I should look that up when I'm done here. What? Where were you all that time? Where'd you go? What'd your mother tell you? She said it was some kind of important government business. That's about right. Some people thought I owed them some favor. Why did they take us away? They thought it wasn't safe for you here by yourself. John, don't lie. Harm you? I know, they're okay. Government man one day. Don't say that. Or, or a politician. <laughs> I'd rather you chose an honest profession. Like you, you mean? Yeah. I know I ain't been the best father, Jack. I made some bad choices. But all that, that life, it's over now. That's very oh, Was it something to do with Mr. Away? Yep. Who told you that? Well, I kept hearing people say their names. Th that's all. Yeah, I caught up with Bill and Dutch. We had some old business needed settling. Where are they now? They're gone, son. We won't be seeing them again. Mm. They were angry at you, weren't they? That's why we had to leave. They was just good men who turned bad. I'll explain it to you one day. And what does that make you? In between. Yes, I'm a, a bad man who tried to be a good father. I don't know. Every man has a right to change, a chance of forgiveness. Ain't that what the good book says? Maybe. You never read me the good book, sir. Well, I imagine that's what it says. I never read the book either. Way too long for me. I was gonna say that it's interesting to compare the two so, games now that I play for you both ready of them. To learn about herding cattle? I've never seen you herd anything, Pa. Apart from the odd pack of drugs. The McFarlands were good to me. And I helped them out in return. I learned a few things along the way. Wait till you see their ranch. There's the ranch. Come on, let's see if we can find Mr. McFarland. Hopefully they're doing okay, because Bonnie was not in good shape last time we saw her. Whoa there. John Marston! There's a face I thought I'd never see again. Some of our public servants in Blackwater sent you back on another homicidal errand to protect and save us from Lord only knows what? Thankfully not, sir. I was hoping you might still be able to sell me some cattle. My boy, it would be a pleasure. Bonnie's out in the crowd now. She'll be more than happy to help you. <laughs> Probably she's not angry I got her involved Take in all this. Take care now, Mr. McFarland. Good luck. They ride to Bonnie. Go. Don't walk to Bonnie. Ride to Bonnie. Okay. All right, Jack. You're gonna have an important job. I want you to lead the herd while I drive them from the back. Keep us all moving in the right direction. Sure, Paul. I can do that, no problem. And if you see cows straying off, can you help me round them up? I'll do my best, sir. Oh, here's the entrance, right? Looks better. <laughs> I said I'd be back when this was all over, Miss McFarland. After the barn fire, you remember? Of course I remember. I just didn't believe a word of it. So, you've come for some cattle? Yeah, I'm finally starting up my farm again. Or trying to, at least. You'll be fine. You've been taught well. Come on, then. 
We're gonna have to actually herd them all the way back to Beecher's Hope. Oh my god. Please tell me you get a cutscene or something. Oh, you gotta be shitting me. You gotta be shitting me. All the way back to Beecher's Hope with these cattle. Thank you. I got 15 of 15. Better not let any go astray. I actually forgot the instructions on how to do this. So, what happened? Last I heard you were headed for some exotic escapade in Mexico. Yep. It's a long story. Too long to tell without a drink in my hand. Hmm. Back to the riddles, I see. And Mr. Williamson? Let's go. You gonna answer her, John? I guess not. So, is this your boy? Yeah. Say hello to Miss McFarland, Jack. Hello. <laughs> ah, the arrogance of youth. He gets a little fur on his lip, and he thinks he knows best all of a sudden. <laughs> Must take after his father. Okay, I thought we'd be doing more in this video than just herding cattle. She's well, I think. We haven't had much time to talk yet. Well. I'm glad you're back together again. It's gonna take some time. We've all been through a lot. Nope, oh, this way. This Whoa way. There. Also, what Dutch said in its final moments really stuck, stood out to me. They'll just find another monster. It's Looks true. Like you got him under control. I best get back to Paul. Nice to see you again, Miss McFarland. And thanks for everything. Jack! We need to move him across the river! That's all they really care about is get, getting the next monster. Like, there'll just be another one after Dutch is gone, and that's what's gonna happen. Come on, easy up now. Then they retire, and then their offspring pick up, and other relatives, and our co workers pick up the slack where they left off. Okay, I see an X. No, well, not done yet. Is this a shortcut? Hey, hey, cow, get back here. Yeah, I completely forgot the um the button prompts to get them to go back together. <laughs> it's been so long. As far as the DLC goes, I'm not sure how long it is, but again, that will be completely blind. I never played the DLC. Although, I know some bits of it that involves zombies, which is very weird. A huge departure from what we've been doing. But hey, if it exists, I'll play it. Also, where it takes place in the timeline, I'm not sure either. Of course, I imagine it's not canon to the original sto to the main story, you know? It just can't be. The Walking Dead? I don't think so. It actually gave us 15 cows. That's pretty generous. Easy. Hold up, Jack. This don't look right. Ah, shit. Those men on the hill. Deal with this. Stay with the herd, Jack. What the hell is this? Rustlers? Why are there rustlers? At least Jack knows how to use a gun now. <laughs> and more? Yep, there's one. And another one. Come here, you. There we go. I think that's all up. Jack! Wait there, I'm coming! You alright? You're not hurt, are you? No. I'm fine. I'm fine. I, I wasn't scared, honest. Sorry you had to see that, son. Those men won't be stealing from anybody else. All right. Let's round up the stragglers and get moving. Oh, jeez. 
Did I do that again? Shit. Yeah. Oh, it's not why. Why is to get off the damn horse? What is wrong with me? Those are horses. What am I doing? Jesus. What's the button? I forgot what. The, isn't there like a button you can press to call the cattle? Jack, head left up the road towards home. I know where I'm going, Paul. Beatrice, <laughs> home. Right. Let's go. More men, or are those just random encounters? Probably random. Hey! Yeah! Come on, Cal, get back in line. Yeah, this is this make for insightful commentary and viewership, not. Well, hopefully something good will come out of this, and we'll get to the end story at some point. Anyone's guess how much farther we have to go? We too. Right up here. That was quicker than how long it took to get there. Let's move on, bovines. Nice work, son. We made it. You did real good out there. Go on. Hit your horse away from me by the stable. Hit your horse at the hitching post. Okay. It's a fine herd we got ourselves. Did a good job, son. Nice shooting. Thanks, Paul. Make a rancher of you yet. Full 15 cows, hurry. Not bad. How do I get $100? That makes no sense, but... Oh, we have a mission with Jack and a mission with Abigail, so it's not the end point yet. Interesting. It looks like we can do Abigail's mission whenever it is. Let's see. Pestilence. I don't like the sound of that. What you cooking? Same thing I've been cooking the past 15 years with the hope of poisoning you. Ain't working so well. <laughs> not yet. Be honest though. Tastes bad enough to kill a man. I never was much of a cook, but I did try to be a good wife. And you have been. <laughs> Given what we was and what we came from, I think we've gone and done okay. I look at Jack. I look at him and I think we've been blessed. Maybe he can be something more. He's a good kid. He can be whatever he wants to be. He ain't gonna be no frontier gunslinger killing and running those gang, though. <laughs> that way's over. Railroads and government and motor cars and everything gone and done away with all that. And he ain't gonna marry no orphaned working girl running with a bunch of hucksters, neither. If he meets one like you, I hope he'll marry her. <laughs> That's a long time. For an illiterate Wait. gunslinger, you sure know how to make a girl blush. <laughs> John, you have got to go deal with them. They've broken into the silo again and are eating all the corn out from it. Of course, my angel. Wait, get out of there. All right, all right. Go on, scat. Shh. I'm not sure what the definition of pestilence is, but I know it's something negative. It tears the crows out of the. Oh my god. Get out of here. Get your corn from the crows. How do I do that? You shoot them all? Oh, jeez. How am I? I can't shoot them all. I'm 
this is bad. I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. I'm supposed to get inside the building, am I? No. What the hell, game? I don't get it. I'm gonna lose this objective. What the hell? Oh, I'm supposed to go up there. Probably. No? Well, what the hell do I do here? Yeah, I get that game. You're not telling me what to do, though. Am I just supposed to keep them from going in there? I really hope that's the only way in, by the way. Alright, maybe this is what I'm supposed to do instead. Oh, no, you don't. Damn it. Never one got in. I wonder if I have to bloody do this. Hopefully not too long. That, does that work? There's a lot of damn crows. Finally. Now about that stew. Oh, is that the whole mission? Yeah. Okay. Oh no, we have another thing with Abigail. Alright. We got some time, assuming it's gonna be that quick for you. Who knows? Let's see. Old friends, new problems. Oh boy. John, we got a telegram from some lady friend of yours, a Bonnie something or other. Something you ain't telling me? She's a Bonnie friend. Marla. She's a friend. Mm. Saved my life when I went after Bill and nearly got myself killed again. Don't say that. Oh, now you two's in the habit of sending each other letters. How very nice. It weren't nothing like that. What's it say? I don't know. I can't. Well, you know I can't read. Can't read? You're wither it? You read that thing out loud. I ain't hiding nothing. Dear Mr. Marston, stop. Need corn sacks. Stop. Emergency. Stop. Weevils and moths ate entire county supply. Stop. That's bad. Can you help? Not exactly the most romantic request, now, is it? I guess not. She saved your life, you say? Yep. Yes, ma'am. Well, then you're gonna have to help her and her family out. We've got a plentiful supply of corn sacks over near the silo. Ugh, about the one thing Uncle didn't manage to have stolen while we was gone. Hmm. Okay. Hurry back, John. And, John, what's she like? Well, uh, you know. A little bit like you, I guess. She's a woman in a man's world. <laughs> like a cat. It's paws. John! Wait! I changed my mind. I'm coming with you. Sure. Well, come on, man. Let's get going. Why am I on a bloody timer? It's not fair. It's so not fair. Why is there a timer? This stinks. Oh, while you were off cavorting with cowgirls in the next county? I don't think so, John Marston. You only just got home. That Jack has 
seen enough of me for a lifetime. So, did she marry this phony McFarlane? She was. No. What does she look like? I don't know. Pretty normal, I suppose. Normal? What? Normal like me? No. Normal <laughs> as in two eyes, mouth, nose, that kind of normal. Besides, ain't no woman fine as you. A little flattery. Now we're finally getting somewhere. If you find yourself in a hole, the first thing to do is stop digging. Another pearl of wisdom from John Marshall. I sure do miss those. I never took you for the jealous type, Abigail. I ain't jealous, so much as curious. Hmm. You heard what she wrote. It's just some corn. She saved my life, and she was decent enough to me, so... Keep going, keep going. I owe her this much at least. It makes no bloody sense why there's a time. How did she save your life anyway? She found me half dead on the side of the road and took me to the doctor. Most folks would have left me there. Half dead from what? Gunshot. Bill didn't take so kindly to me visiting on him now. Bill never did like surprises. <laughs> How was he? Same as he was when we left. Angry and dumb. Taking his revenge out on the world. People down there was really scared of him. Of uh, Bill? You gotta be kidding me. He was only frightening if he was afraid of dumb fools. Bill worked so bad, but when Dutch went crazy, Bill took it hard. For a while, mm -hmm. we all thought we'd found something right. A better way to live, but it was just a lie. So you saw before they did. Maybe. But they was still kind of a family. A family that left you for dead. You knew the truth, John. And they hated you for it. Oh, got halfway Where left in the timer. Too far from here, though. They treat you right. It ain't the first time I've had a gun to my head, John. You're forgetting your marriage proposal. Very funny. No, so, they learned pretty quick what would happen if they laid a finger on me. Over here. You came. Thank you so much. We lost the entire harvest. Miss McFarland, I'd like you to meet my wife, Abigail. Oh, ain't you quite the gentleman all of a sudden? <laughs> it's a pleasure to meet you, Mrs. Marston. Likewise. Thank you for saving my husband's life. And for teaching the miserable goat some manners, among other things. I didn't teach him anything. I know better than to try to change a man. You should meet my father. Oh, people can change, Miss McFarlane. John and I have to believe that more than anybody. This is a decent first harvest for you, John. You should be proud. That's good land you got there. How are you feeling, Mrs. Marston? From what your husband told me, it must have been awful for you. I've been through worse, and I knew he'd be back before too long. He can't cook a meal to save his life. Yeah. Abigail, in my darkest hours, when I was most homesick, just the thought of one of your rat meat stews kept me pushing <laughs> forward. Well, about as amusing as a weeping saddle sore, ain't he, Mr. Farland? You're gonna start yammering about women's work, John. I'd say you might be in the wrong company. I'd say so, too. I never felt so outnumbered. I mean, that was a pretty straightforward job. Although I really don't appreciate the timer. There's no need for a goddamn timer with that. I don't know why it's doing that. Ma'am? Is she, is she attractive to John? Is that what this scene is trying to emphasize? We know from the second game she had a husband. Alright, I guess we're done here. Yep. That was her, all right. She's pretty. She's normal, like I said. Well, you always wanted to be a rancher. I'd have thought she'd be just your thing. The perfect rancher's wife, if I ever saw one. I already got a rancher's wife. I'm only teasing. I like her. And I'm glad she saved your life. Most of the time, anyway. The McFarlands are good people. She did blush better than a shepherd's sunset when she saw you, though. I have that effect on women. You've clearly had one too many blow 
close to the head. You ain't wrong about that, Mrs. Marston. <laughs> Interesting, because she never really expressed they got there. interest in John today. before. As soon as we get back on our feet. I don't know, John. How many times can we start again? An outlaw and a working girl. We ain't exactly farmers. We are now. Forget that life. It's over. Do you really believe that? We have to. It's the only way we'll ever have a future. The life we led, that doesn't go away. It's never over. You think those government men are just going to leave us alone now? The old gang's dead. I did what they asked. Doesn't that matter. The life five for good? We're back together, ain't we? Until they decide you owe them something else. Sometimes I think I was the stupid one for believing I could get out. Maybe Dutch, and Bill, and Javier were just being honest with themselves. You ain't perfect, John, and I sure ain't. But you're better than they are, than they were. Maybe we can't change, but we gotta try, for Jack's sake. Even if we have to start again a hundred times, it's better than going back to what we were. Yeah, that ending is just gonna be a gut punch at this Angry. point. I hope he's gonna be all right. It's gonna take time. For a while, his world was safe, normal even. Then it got turned upside down again. He ain't saying much about it. I've tried to talk to him, but how do you explain any of this? What do you say when he asks about Uncle Bill and Uncle Dutt? They were family when he was a little boy. He hides away in those books of his. Wouldn't you? It ain't like the real world's done him many favors. He's just been kidnapped. He grew up with the gang. That's no lie for a boy. It isn't. We did our best to protect him. Come on, John. He saw things no boy should see. Well, now we got a chance to make it right. Hey, we're back home. We did good today, John. I guess I better go fix us something to eat. Uncle has a mission for us too? Interesting. Well, this gameplay is a far cry from what we've been doing throughout the campaign. But I imagine it'll end with the ambush that I've seen so much about but never actually played through. So we gotta stop, guys. So we're gonna find a way to save. If here's good, I guess. Yeah, we're just on time to stop. That's fine. See from the right slot, correct? Okay, we're done for now. We'll see how much longer these simple tasks will go on, and then we'll do the DLC. So thank you for watching, I will see you in the next video. Take care.